Hi, this is Brett Senkis and this is Misconception Monday. Today we are debunking the idea, the myth that you are a good person or that I am a good person or that any of us are good or bad people. I think that is absolutely not true. So let me start with a story. Many years ago I was dating a girl and she had been giving me some, I don't know, I can't even remember what she was giving me some um, flack over what the issue was, but somehow in the weekend we were spending with each other, it came up that she had took from her gym some weight. You know, she, she needed a, she needed a, she was missing one of her two weights, and she took one from her gym, and I, I can't remember how this went down exactly, but something along those lines. And you know, this was my proudest moment. But you know, having kind of taken some abuse, I decided to give a little bit back. I was like, well, that's you know, you you you, you stole, and that kind of turned into a twenty-minute episode of her justifying what she did. And you know, there were a lot of creative arguments over it. I mean, it all came down to like, well, no, it's okay. And it's like, it just, it was it was a really funny example of something that we all do, and people do it on to different degrees, but not being able to accept that what she did was not a good thing. And in a vacuum, she had no reason to do what she did, and it wasn't her property, and uh, the world's worst thing to do? Of course not. But you know, it, it wasn't right, and to try and in some universe justify it as right, it's just, it seemed to me to be a, just kind of a silly exercise. But it makes sense that we want to feel, that people want to feel good, and they don't want to ever think of themselves as having done anything bad. And they want to feel like they're, um, you know, that they're wonderful, and they're good-hearted, and they're good-natured, and that's just a natural inclination. It's not true, though. We all have good and bad in us. We have good and bad qualities. We have strengths and we have weaknesses. And we have good spirit, and we have some mean-spirited stuff. We've got, all of us have this stuff. And Carl Jung, the psychologist, called this the shadow self. He called it, everyone had a shadow. And that sometimes that was, I mean, it started out unconscious. You know, the goal over time through sort of awareness and integration was to, to kind of understand and create and to be conscious about that shadow stuff, things that we don't like about ourselves. But many people can't accept that shadow stuff. They view themselves as only, you know, wonderful and perfect. And, and some people will take this sort of to a real extreme and when things happen or when they do something bad or like the girl who's dating it's like i mean it just was the wrong thing to do i mean i've done things that i'm not proud of that weren't the right thing to do denying it and acting like there was a reason creating blame shifting it starts to create this world where you get more and more a person gets more and more disconnected from themselves and their shadow grows while their sort of soul focus on their goodness and worth and it's not them, right? This creates like a blame mentality, a victim sort of mentality. It's not me, I didn't do anything, I'm not bad. You know, that kind of thing starts to go this direction. The shadow, the shadow is there and denying it gives it power. Kind of counterintuitively, but acting like it's not there, pretending it's there and it's gonna manifest itself. And Jung used to call this, he, he would talk about that as um, projection. Basically, through a process of projecting our negative things onto others where our negative stuff is, is growing. And so you'll see people who do more and more of this and they create scapegoats and blame and it's not me, it's all them. And when groups start to do this collectively and put the blame on other groups, you start to have this, you know, some really terrible things in the world where groups view themselves as, you know, super enlightened or, um, you know, they're not wrong, they're right, the other side, the other people are wrong, and you create these like real disconnects from what is true about all of us, which is we all have good and bad qualities. And acknowledging that is the start of taking away some of the power from the shadow. And I should say this is all about like who we are at the core. I don't mean that you ought to go do bad things. I'm just talking about like that's in you and I'm, and I'm sure you've done some bad things and you will do some bad things or things you're not proud of. And they can be weaknesses and failures and flaws and stuff like that too. It just doesn't have to be good and bad behavior from a moral perspective. But the more we acknowledge those realities that we have those parts of ourselves that we're not proud of, the more we take away the, that, that power. And the less we do that, the more we give it power, the more we think ourselves these perfect, good, never wrong beings, we're getting, uh, again, maybe some more counterintuitively, we're being less and less integrated, whole, good beings. So 
you are not a good person and I am not a good person. You are not a bad person and I'm not a bad person. We have good and bad in us and we do good and bad things, but we're just human.